What's up, Team T, baby? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? I hope you guys are all having an amazing day. Today, I am so excited to share this recipe with you guys because I have, first of all, never tried it. Second of all, I'm using ingredients that are my all-time favorite, and you guys know, I only cook with benefits, so everything in this bar is not only going to be super freaking good, but the benefits in the bar for you are going to be amazing. So like I tell you before, dates are a superfood. I'm using dates, oatmeal, peanut butter. It's going to be packed with protein. It's going to be so good. Um, so I've never made this recipe before, so I'm kind of just going to be pouring and doing some certain things. I will always leave everything in the description for you guys, but then I'll also put it um, in this next part when I'm actually like doing my thing. Because when I'm doing my thing and I just show my hands because I have to set the camera up a certain way to where you guys can see exactly what I'm doing when I'm filming alone. So. These are my peanut butter chocolate cookie dough bars, and I am so excited for you to try these. Um, I just know they're going to be freaking phenomenal, okay? So, continue watching, and let's get started. Hey, hey. Okay, you guys, I decided just to talk to you instead of writing it. Um, so, here is one half cup of oats, my goats, and then I'm going to be adding in a fourth cup of uh, unsweetened cocoa powder and then I'm adding in 10 pitted dates so this is going to be our sweetness right here and don't worry this is going to be dry at first so when you do this don't get intimidated by that um, we're just mixing this together and then we will add our liquid shortly okay then I added to the side I decided to add four more dates and then blend it again this is our sweetener, like I said, so you kind of eye it as you go. Then I put in, I think, about three, two to three splashes during this process of almond milk. And this is when you're starting to actually form your dough, which you want it to be like this, exactly how it's getting. Um, that's why I only add in a little bit liquid at a time because it's going to start to process and form like this hard ball. So then, since the cocoa powder is unsweet, and I added in three packets of stevia. If you really don't like stevia, um, I would recommend putting maybe a little bit of agave syrup or coconut sugar, any other kind of stuff that you like. There was my third splash of almond milk. So I added it in, and then you can see as it's starting to mix, it's forming like this huge ball in there. And that's because it's becoming like a huge sticky crust which is exactly what you need since these are no bake bars perfect okay then in your parchment papered pan you're going to smush it down and don't be afraid to use your hands just make sure you wash them especially if you're not the only one eating these but this is the crust so you want to try and get it kind of as flat as possible as you can I mean however thick of the pan that you use or however much crust, however thickness you like your crust, then you can do it that way. But I tried to get it down as thin as I could. So now we're going to make the topping, the cookie dough part. Here goes 10 more dates in the food processor. And then I use uh, like a fourth plus like half of the fourth of almond milk. And... Um, half a cup of oat flour with a half a cup of peanut butter. Now, if I just got that wrong, I'll write it for you guys in the description, but you best believe there's another tablespoon of peanut butter. But this is hard to remember everything, okay? So give me a break there. Um, and then I added in some chocolate chips, and now we are making the top part. So this needs to be not too liquidy, but kind of. So then I added another like couple of splashes of almond milk. And like I say, it's always good to do less than to do more. So since there's oat flour, it's you know a little thick, so I added in a little bit more almond milk. But you want to make sure that you just blend it really well. And it's like this really nice creamy, creamy consistency. And so you want to smooth it out as much as you can on your pan. 
Now, unfortunately, these have to bake overnight, which sucks because it's like so hard to wait. So I added more chocolate chips on top and then I threw these bad boys in the refrigerator overnight. Yes, I waited. And then you could see the color change right about, bam. These are freaking amazing, you guys. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I already took a bite and after you let these refrigerate, it's best to let them refrigerate over the entire night. So more than like six to eight hours. But if you make them early in the morning, I'm sure that's going to be good that night. But since I did it in like the middle of the day, I actually let it sit um, all the way through the night. And let me just holy smokes this is going to just blow your mind you know what food just makes me so happy like there's just no nothing or nobody else that makes me this happy look at that peanut butter chocolate cookie dough bar like who in their right mind came up with this i did i think i'm cr i'm local Oh my god. Mm. Every time. Girl, every time. I think I made a better recipe. The next one's better. The thing is looking good. Holy moly. You guys, I really pray that you try this because until I start shipping all these out to you guys you gotta try and make them um, because you need like you you don't you need to try what I'm trying right now and I just wish I can give you all one but until the day where I'll be shipping my natural built body desserts and meals to you you have to give this recipe a try okay all right, I'm gonna go finish the rest of this pan. No, I'm kidding. But I am going to go get some work done and I will see you all on my next video. I love you so much.